I reviewed more than 100 apps and tools since I started my YouTube channel. I found lots of amazing ones, but I actually use only a few of them in my life because I want to keep it as simple as possible. So in this video, I want to show you my absolute favorite apps I use every day for studying, taking notes, writing, and managing my to-dos and the schedule. Raindrop is probably the app I use most often. It's like my personal digital library. I use it to save articles I liked, videos, files, music I love, and pretty much anything I want to keep and pull whenever I need them. Without it, I cannot do my work because I store lots of things in there so I can use when, for example, creating my newsletter, blog posts, and YouTube videos. I used to use an app called My Mind, which is also a fantastic app. I no longer use it, but I thought it was worth mentioning it because it's one of the most unique and genius apps. If you're interested, I made a bunch of videos about it so you can take a look. There are many things I love about Raindrop. For example, it has integration with Raycast and Alfred, which makes it possible to instantly look up things in your Raindrop, no matter where you are on your computer. I can just press command space to open the quick search bar and find the thing I need. This was a huge reason why I decided to switch to Raindrop from my mind. It makes it so easy to browse through my digital library and find references. Especially when I'm writing, I can find the resource I need in just a few seconds. Also, it has permanent copy feature, which means once you save an article to Raindrop, it will automatically make a backup of the website or the article. So even if the website got taken down or disappeared, you can still see them. Also, they recently added highlighting feature. I don't really use it, but it might be useful because now you can annotate and make highlights so you can easily find sentences or paragraphs you like. But the best part is, it's super cheap. It only costs a few dollars a month, which might be the lowest among this type of apps. For my reading inbox, I use an app called Matter which is unfortunately iOS only. Since I have an iPhone, I mostly use Matter to save articles to read later. But the thing is, I recently got an Android phone as a secondary device for consuming content, and Matter is not available on Android. This is why I'm thinking I should maybe just use Pocket since it's available both on Android and iOS. Matter is a great app though. I love its simple design and uh, more importantly, in Matter, you follow writers, not just publications. So in my experience, it's much easier to discover articles that resonate with me than other reading apps. And also it might be trivial, but the uh, fact Matter lets you save an entire Twitter thread is great because I love reading them. In comparison, Pocket lets you save only one tweet of a thread. Anyway, for now, whenever I discover interesting articles, I just save it to Matter or Pocket so I can read them in a batch later when I have time. Then when I'm reading them, I make highlights, which can also be imported to my note app via Redevice. Also, if I really like the article, I usually save it to Raindrop. I can do this manually, but I have it automated with ifttt. Whenever I favorite an article in Pocket, it will be automatically saved to Raindrop. So right now, I'm kind of going back and forth between Matter and Pocket. It's a bit frustrating, so I really hope Matter will make an Android version soon. The next one is my absolute favorite podcast app, Snipped. I have been a huge fan of it for a long time, so I'm very happy that they are sponsoring this video. I love listening to podcasts. It is a great way to have fun while doing something else because you have your hands free and you still get to listen to great stories and uh, learn something new. I've tested many different podcast apps, but the best one for me is Snips. It has such a refined, beautiful UI and pack great features. I love that it creates chapters for each episode automatically. This makes it so easy to kind of skim through to find out what each section is about and uh, just listen to the ones that interest you. But the most impressive feature is audio highlighting. When you are listening to a podcast and uh, come across an interesting idea you want to save, you can just hit the save button on the screen or just triple tap your earphones or headphones. Then it will use AI to figure out the perfect timing for the highlight and save it for you. 
and you can see all the highlights you made in one place. What's more, you can also import the highlights into your note app by connecting to Readwise, which is a great app too. This way you can make notes from the highlights on your favorite note-taking app, which will help you remember what you learned from podcast. If you're curious, you can download a snippet from the link in the description. It's free. For writing and uh, managing my highlights, I have been using Logseek for a very long time. I have reviewed many note-taking apps before, but for me, it's always been Logseek. Not because it's better than the others, but simply if it's how I think and work. It's an aligner app and perfect for people who like to think in bullet point or block level. It's also open source and all of your notes are stored in your local computer, which is great for privacy. All the highlights are automatically imported in my Logseek database, so I can see and browse them anytime, or I can use them for my writing projects. I used to have a neat workflow called the Zerkasten system, which I talked about in my previous video, but the problem was that I got tired of building complicated system like that and trying to maintain it and following the steps. I thought I would rather spend the time for writing instead. So that is why I stopped doing zero casting and doing complex workflow. Now I just look at the highlights and think about how I can use them for my future writing project. That's it. Another tool I use sometimes is Napkin. I reviewed about a month ago and it really clicked with me. Since I'm getting tired of building complex system, Napkin seemed great because of its simplicity. It's like an AI powered digital index card not taking app. I used to use an index card a lot when I was in university and uh, I missed how simple it was. So Napkin felt very natural to me. Maybe that's why it resonated with me so much. Being able to easily create a note card for inspiring ideas is great. And then I can cycle through them to review my note cards. It also shows you similar note cards, which is perfect for serendipity and finding surprising connections between ideas. Anyway, it's still an early product and doesn't have features like Readwise integration yet. For managing my to-dos and the schedule and keeping track of things, I have been using Ampunoid for years now. It was kind of basic back then, but now it's a completely different story. It just keeps getting better and better. Recently, they added the sidebar feature, which is of course kind of a standard feature for modern note-taking apps, but it made it so much easier to write and organize things. You may think it's just another note app, but Ampunoid is an all-in-one app. So it can be such a great to-do and calendar app too. For me, I mostly use it for keeping track of things in my life. So whenever I think of something or see something I want to remember, I write it down in Ampunoid. It can be a book recommendation, my favorite quotes, a restaurant, movies to watch. I write them down and then organize them into lists. This way I can keep track of things in my life with ease. There are many apps that let you do something similar, but for me, Ampernoid does it the best. It's simple, and you can even share your notes and the list with other people with just a few clicks. And of course, it's a great to-do app too. You can write down things you need to do, and they get accumulated in the unified task list, which is automatically sorted using the Eisenhower matrix. Then I can switch to the calendar mode and schedule these tasks, which is how I usually plan my week. All right, so, these are the tools I use every day. If you're curious about other great apps like Ampunoid for organizing your life, make sure to check out this video. And also don't forget to check out Snipped. It's free and available on both iOS and Android. All right, thank you so much for watching and uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.